Okay, this is called um, short, short and cold. And I'm gonna do um, an inch and a quarter short and cold. You're gonna measure an inch and a quarter all the way around because you're gonna do an inch and a quarter. There you go. You have to chuck it up. Then, notice how we come to a curve. This curve, we're gonna copy from one front to the other one. So you have the, the same uh, curve, the original curve. There you go. Then you do the same with the other one. Make a copy. together make a copy of the curve yeah like that don't go to to curve like that that looks good like that all right so now we're gonna cut it we're gonna check it out here that you need some space half an inch from here so that's where you're gonna cut you need to have a seam cut it like this then you cut the curve too leave the space for the seam it's gonna be your seam see that? Then you open this you open this Open this too. Then we're gonna leave a good inch and a quarter too. So you practically we're gonna cut at the crease like that. And then if you notice this allowance for the folding, this is already good. You cut half an inch from the edge, that's a good one. So this is good already. You can cut it here. And here, you can go half an inch too. Don't be shy to cut. Half an inch to a quarter, right there too. Like that. Okay. So let's start with this one. Here you're gonna have a teeny tiny seam that they do by hand or whatever. You have to take it off so you can get it clean. Like that. See? Okay. See here? Oh, you can go in clean. You see where your 
your curve stop right chuck it up that's where you stop okay now we're gonna do this tuck down the seam um i don't i don't need to put an interface but you put an interface here you have to put it here so it, it's a little bit uh, more weight but this one has already some interface left over you don't need to okay this is the, the tuck down don't go all the way quarter of an inch don't go all the way because you need the space when you run the seam I'm gonna show you one side only because otherwise it's gonna take me too long but anyway check this out you already have it right there right I'm gonna do this now we, I'm gonna focus on the curve first Then I'm gonna do a little bit in an angle here, following this, right? This is your seam, but a little bit off here. Why? Because the, the, the lining, you have to hide the lining too. The lining cannot be showing. The lining that is under, cannot be showing so here's where the tricky part comes you have to follow a good nice curve i already know because the the seam is my the whatever i cut is my guidance and then i have the ending of the curve here that's why i cut it so i don't have to chuck it up Like that. Now, here I'm going to cut it teeny tiny. This seam has to be very small so when you turn it, it's not too thick. Okay, then. I'm gonna do this one you can open a little bit more anyway it's a stitch then you want to get in by here I took care of the curve first because that's where you have to focus. Then here, that's an easy thing to do. good nice and this is one side then you just press it this one you can close it later because this is gonna help you to go in to go in and do the others like this look I'm gonna show you now I'm gonna show you how to do the back but it's gonna be pretty much like like the front now you open the the seam so it can work this is kind of tricky anyway it, it, uh, 
It's really very simple this one. So same deal. Cut here. This is your inch and a quarter. If, if you have to shorten less, just be, remember to leave around like an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half for the folding. And look at this, this is the same, right? The crease is gonna let you know that that crease, you have to cut it. That's gonna be your guide. Because it's half an inch, you have to leave the lining half an inch shorter. That's it, simple. Now, we're gonna do this again, tuck it down. We have an interface already here, so it's gonna be okay. If not, like I say, you have to do interface. Okay. Okay, see, remember I didn't sew this one? This seam is open. Oh, whatever. Okay, now this is the crease. This one goes right here, exactly right there, one seam. Then, again, this seam. Because here your crease, don't forget, just go in one seam like that. Okay, now you bring it up, bring it on. Okay, we fix that a little bit. Now I'm gonna sew it, I'm gonna pretend I did the other side already too. So this is my folding. This is my. This is the line, right? On my shorten. This is how it's gonna be. Okay. Then you saw it. Remember, you just open it up a little bit more to get in. And I'm gonna pretend I already did the other front, even though I didn't do it. So you go here. Go here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to press it. That's it, and this is gonna be the end. But let me go to the to the iron. I'm gonna press it. So this is my, the, my, the front that I stitch. You see the line here? Follow the line. Follow the line. Follow the line, and then steam. Uh -huh. Then, you see here, right? Everything done with one seam. Here it is the front. Now the back. I'm gonna show you how to press the back too. Just follow your line. This is your line. The shortening. Here. Hold. Here. It. Press it. What's going on here? Then press 
से That's the back and front. Nice and clean, short and cold, one seam only all the way around. 